The trade fair year 2010 was kicked off in Munich today with the world's largest sports goods trade fair called ISPO. Where the 1970 kickoff was a cozy industry get together, ISPO has long attained the status as leading sports fair of the world. Despite the global economic crisis, the standing of ISPO remains strong. The ISPO, is not excessive. ISPO is hugely important for us. It's the worldwide platform of the industry and we are completely booked out. The organizers of ISPO cherish not only a 5% plus of exhibitors, but also ISPO's 40th birthday. Actually, there are two reasons to celebrate. ISPO's 40th birthday and the 70th time it goes up this year. This year's main theme is sustainability and so several ISPO projects deal with the ecological matters from various perspectives. The Echo Village, for instance, assembles brands and products with exemplary production methods. It also hosted the winners of the ISPO Echo Responsibility Award handed out for the second time this year. The brand new awards also paid tribute to the green imperative by introducing an Echo and Fair Trade category. Which made sense, as many businesses are emphasizing ecological and social engagement during production. Our brand has biocertification by Naturland, meaning not only that all cotton used is organic, but that the whole chain of production is certified, from spinning works up to the final product. Not just the textile sector shows consideration for environment and resources. Hardware companies such as Boo Bicycles have turned onto the green path. You have a high performance racing bicycle. You have a comfortable bike that you can ride all day in a group ride or a century. You have an eye-catching sexy bike that people will talk to you about any time they see it. And you have a green bike that's good for the environment. And the Munich Trade Fair Company doesn't just provide a platform for green issues, but engages for ecological aspects itself by deploying one of the largest photovoltaics facilities around. Novelties of the skiing sector have always had a special place at ISPO. To provide for even more personal riding fun, producers of sports equipment tune these by adding high-tech features. Völkel makes an effort to... Das in diesem Ski Leather a pipe into the ski, represented by the red line. There's a feathering element at the front, a pole runs through the pipe, and this pole is drawn forward by a screw retailers can adjust by means of this ski, all of which significantly alters rigidity of the ski. It can thus be rigged according to the weight of the user. Competitor Head focuses on speed. The Austrian brand has added a turbocharger to their products. The so-called piezo elements translate any generated mechanical energy into electric energy. That energy is then saved by a chip. At the turn's maximum point of flex, a second piezo phase sets in, sending the signal to the chip to trigger a release of energy, which is returned to the piezo, which stiffens and causes the rebound of the ski. Such innovations lead to increased fun and improved safety for pros and free-time skiers alike. <laughs>